An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the port, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood?
one I intend to keep. now we wait and not for very long i suspect It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there.
Guys, guys, guys. Loot I stock a humble stall.
Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. We'll move faster on horse. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. These tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees.
right here. Turn to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Woman! in the head? Me? Hatham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Now well, tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Uh, wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. 
I hope so. Well, can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldogs putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Losing these I hear tell the French are readying to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. You are not losing these Oi! Where you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was listening. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready.
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. God. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. 
The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. There will be no truce. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it! Why? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts them at a risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it.
he's running away. Come back here, you great Jesse. He's not here. To hell with him.
You! What news? Radicus left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush him here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike.